Hey guys, this is Louis Jeremita from Aspiring Gen. I'm going to be showing you guys how I fasten my blazer buttons on. Let's get into it. So in the past, we talked about how to put standard four, flat, four hole flat buttons on your shirts, blazers, suit coats, anything. But what about when you run into the blazer button or as some call it the shank button? Now this button's actually, in my opinion, a little bit easier to put on, but unless you know how to do it securely, it can be a little bit daunting. So I wanna walk you through that right now. What you're gonna need is a thread that's a little bit thicker. Right now I'm gonna be using a like a thread for denim just because it's the brightest color I had and it resembles the thickness. If you don't have anything that thick or it's gonna be on the sleeves of your coat, at that point you can just double up normal all-purpose polyester thread. But if you have the thicker button thread, I recommend using it and have it so that it matches the button that you're going to be using. Now let's get into the technique of putting this button on. So to start, you're gonna to wanna to figure out how you wanna secure the knot. Now, if you're doing this and you want it to make sure that it's ultra secure, as secure as possible, what you're gonna do is you're gonna tie a knot on the thread and you're just gonna poke it through the underside of the fabric and then you're gonna start the sewing. Or if you want something that's a little bit less bulky as a knot would be, you can do this technique, which is just the double tack, which here, here we go, doing it. Push it through once. and then just loop it in on itself again. This is gonna hold the knot in place or hold the thread in place while you're sewing on the button and it offers a pretty secure option that isn't too bulky or visible on the other side. But now let's get into the methods of sewing on the button. What you're going to look for is one, the pattern and how it is set up. So on this guy, as you can see, it's kind of hard to see in this light, but the S right there, you want this crown and this S to be facing upwards on your project. So if you are if you have a jacket, you want this to be looking forward. So when someone looks at you, it doesn't look on the side or upside down. So once you figure out which way is up, turn it over and see which way this toggle is lying. So it's going straight up and down. So you're gonna to wanna to go from the side. So we're imagining this is the top, and this is the bottom. You want that sitting just like that. So all you're gonna do is take the needle, push it through that little eye hole, just like that. You're gonna go right into where you made that little tack and kind of do like what you're doing, like you're making the same exact kind of tack. You just pull it right through. Make sure that that's laying up straight Take your needle, put it back through that hole. And you're just doubling this up to make sure that it's super secure. And as you can tell, this is button is larger than this button I have here. This one is for the actual buttons of a blazer, whereas this one is for the sleeves. And if a lot of the times the sleeves aren't functional, you don't need to use as much, um, go through the eye as many times or double up the thread like this. But when you're doing it on a jacket opening button, you're gonna to wanna to make sure it's nice and secure because that button's gonna be getting a lot of use. So you're just gonna go back through here again. And then you're gonna finish it off. And how you're gonna do this is very similar to the normal standard flat four hole button. Just gonna wrap it around here. put it through that hole and make a knot. Now the nice thing is with these blazer buttons is that you don't have to go many times to elevate it from the fabric because this little eyelet here is already elevated so you don't need to be worried about that. It's always gonna make it through the hole. So once you go around there twice, you're just gonna poke this back Get you a close-up view. Just gonna poke this right back through here just to make sure that those knots don't come undone. Pull them nice and tight. Grab your scissors. They don't have to be as overkill as these ones. They should be sharper than those for sure. And there you go. That is how you put on a blazer button Quick and easy, 
Now you can use this to switch out your buttons on your coats to make them look fancier, or if one has fallen off, just to replace it. There you guys go. You got the blazer button onto your fabric, sewn on perfectly. And now if you had some trouble with this, or if you have ideas for other videos, let me know in the comment section below because I wanna be able to help you guys get better at your tailoring, as well as look better in the process. So please let me know. But other than that, this video is concluded and have a great day.